This week on Working with the Willems, Dad and Cassie build a table for the Coke machine at the deli. I'm sitting in Australia. My wife call me and say, uh, Mandy's got a boyfriend. The whole family comes together to work on Rattler. That's it? Do that, yeah, do that thing. Come on, do that thing, whatever, what's it called? And Quentin insults Dad, which prompts a weight loss challenge. I, I, I guess I can try to fit in here, but it'd be a hell of a lot easier with the door shut. Oh, you lost some weight, too. Coke machine table pretty much started out the same as everything else. Dad, we need a table. The reason we needed to build it was we needed an extra ice machine. So we got rid of our ice bin down there and we decided to add ice machine. But at that point, the ice bin was what was holding the soda machine. So therefore, if you take that away, you need a table. And uh, came up with the idea to build something. Again, we're doing, if we're gonna build it, it's gonna be out of steel. I just. I can do it faster, it's so much better, it holds up better, and we like the look of it. Are you almost done and bored? This is what happens when the fabricator don't have their craft together. But Cassie will fabricate 100% of that. And the welder sits here and melts. That's me. She's really good, and again, she works so hard. A lot of that stuff, she'll do it by herself. Quentin, you know how United breaks guitars? Quentin breaks chairs. First and foremost, I have to say, I am very glad Quentin is here. He's fit into this family perfectly. He tolerates me perfectly, but he definitely breaks a lot of things. He, the old man just about dies sitting in a chair. And they thought it was funny. This is the kind of people you're working with. But you're gonna learn this about me. I, I overbuild everything and I never have anything to fail. So. Um, what I'm doing right now is I'm drilling holes so that when we're done, we can screw the top on it. Um, it's an easy top. We just made a top out of two by sixes, so uh, we'll just come in through the bottom with screws and screw that down, and that'll hold the top on it. You can blame me if you want to, but I still blame you. Sometimes, I will admit, it is my fault. Sometimes it is my dad's fault, but he won't admit it. I'm at about an inch right now. I'd say it's close to. That just means we do good work. I'm sitting in Australia. My daughter, being the brilliant daughter that she is, decides to wait until I'm 14 hour flight away. And then has my wife, my wife call me and say, uh, Mandy's got a boyfriend. Oh, interesting. Yeah, he's he's a policeman in Tifton, Georgia. Yeah, that's how it went. And then I came back and I don't know, man, you were all nervous. Well yeah, why would you be? They've been telling him stories for about a month. And I come back and I'm like, yeah, whatever. So for which way it went? Wow. Didn't feel like it at the time though. He's the worst driver in the family and he's been pulled over many times and he's never got a ticket. So you want to explain? Worst driver in the family? As far as speed, yeah. Because the old man father-in-law trying to he got the grandparents in the car, 96 miles an hour trying to catch Quentin's taillights. I would say he speeds. Um, I'm not gonna say that he goes crazy speeding. But he does speed. I don't even know what day are you talking about. It's any day. Trips to Orlando come back flashing back. Okay, monster truck rally. Just he was hauling man. some butt, man. You just said in personal fastest. All I said, he can say he wasn't driving 90, but I was driving over 90 and I couldn't keep up, so. 
We were supposed to be traveling together, so I don't know if he thought he was outrunning me. It's not true. It's not true. But it's true. So, so you didn't get pulled. You didn't get pulled over going like 20 mile an hour over the speed limit in Alachua here about four weeks ago. That didn't happen. Not four weeks ago. It would have been six. That might have happened. That might have happened. Yes. Did you get a ticket? It was a simple mistake. A simple mistake going like 65 and a 30. I didn't slow down fast enough. Cop was nice though. No, I didn't get a ticket. That time, yeah. The only time, right? Mm hmm. So, whatever. I'm getting this all recorded because these are live. Wire size is important. Um, and I like to overdo it. Um, I feel pretty comfortable that as long as I'm going with a wire at least as big as what they're giving me, that I'll have enough power, uh, enough wire to handle the power that's going to be going through it. If I run a wire half the size of what they're using, um, there's a good chance that the wires are going to melt. It'll, they'll literally melt. So we want to make sure that we're using big enough wire. So she can work on that. I'm going to figure out what to do with drilling this hole. That's how you drink water when you don't like water. So I'm gonna start up here, come down, we'll come out of that rack, come through this hole, it'll come down through this post down here to the floor, and then from the floor it'll come to the center console. Um, and that's where the switches will be, and then we'll run power to a fuse panel that we're putting in there that'll go up to the new battery that we're gonna, we're gonna add an additional battery in there so we have plenty of power. So like I said, there, there won't be any reason that we can't run those lights for a long time. Um, I'm not upgrading the alternator or anything at this time, but we're gonna have plenty of storage, so we'll have two batteries. And that's pretty much what we're doing. So I've got my holes in my roof now, and uh, we'll, next step is gonna be figuring out how long our wire needs to be. There's an enormous amount of wiring that went into getting it done. And I gotta say, this is probably one of the neatest jobs that we've ever done. We did a good job. You're good, you're good beyond the truck? Mm-hmm. Whose fault's it gonna be if these wires aren't the right length? Kendra's. Okay, as long as we have that worked out. Do that, yeah, do that thing. Come on, do that thing, whatever, what's it called? Come on, what's it called? Flossing. Flossing? That's what he's talking Floss. about. No? You, you gotta stick with her. Rachel. She left. She left? Okay, come on in here, plenty of room. You got the air conditioner, it's all good. Try not to move this grommet here, or the wires, okay? Take them one at a time, and find your hole. Okay. You want to get them all the way down to the floor? All the way out of this hole right here. Wiring through the like, holes in the walls of the car, I had to do that. Really, it just was time consuming because we had to get it going the right places, make sure it wasn't rubbing on anything sharp because we didn't want to cut any of the wires. So that would suck. It was not fun. Talk like Quentin, though. You ain't doing it good enough. You ain't doing that good enough. You ain't quite there, bud. Ain't quite there, bud. How long are you gonna be there? Not much longer. Do you ever feel like you're in the way? I, I, I guess I can try to fit in here, but it'd be a hell of a lot easier with the door shut. 
Probably if you lost some weight too. He's got a grin, I think, that, that probably has always got him out of everything. You definitely, you definitely got a laugh. Oh man, that, he went he went off on that one. You did that on camera, man. You you freaking called out my one problem. I mean, I, with the exception of that, I'm perfect. I'm freaking perfect, and it bothers Quentin that I'm perfect. No, I think I'm all right. So he, uh, yeah. What? I didn't say nothing. I was just making an observation. He knew he was hitting below the belt. There's no question about it. He he hit below the belt. Quentin. Sometimes words hurt. <laughs> it's on. It's right now, it's on. It's happening on air right now. What's the freaking challenge? What's the contest? It's on. <laughs> Name it. What are you talking about? I, we're, we're, you're a fat bastard too, so let's do this. Oh, gosh. I know I am. It's on. What's, name it right now. On video, what's the challenge? I got no Put challenge. Put your money where your mouth is. Did he or did not just, he, I know you know he called me fat. You started laughing. All right. So, what is it, buddy? Let's do this. What are you going on about? Quentin kind of likes to play stupid. So he was like, you challenging me? Let's do a weight loss competition. I'm just sitting there. That's not what I said. I just called you fat. But so somehow this turned into a competition and uh, Christian got sucked into it. I walked in there and all of a sudden dad was going on a rant that Quentin called him out or something. I don't even know it went down. All of a sudden though, I just heard there was a challenge and heads were getting shaved and things were getting intense. And I was like, okay, well, I guess that's happening. Come on, man. You're not backing out of this. What's the damn challenge? Did I say let's do a challenge? Yeah, we're fighting freaking words. You said I'll see if I can fit in there with a the door open. I said it'd probably help if you lost some weight. That's, yep. So Why is a, that, it, how is that it a is, challenge? It's a challenge. So what is it? If it, kind of challenge, look, bud. if you didn't mean that, if you meant that in such an innocent way, why is he rolling on the ground over there? I don't know. Because you called me a fat bastard, so let it's on. <laughs> Nico likes it when you get called fat, I guess. You know, they say people in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. Well, fat people shouldn't call other people fat. It's just common courtesy. Um, so what do I have to say about this challenge? Um, the camera guy was there. He decided to man up, step in. He's going to go down hard. Yeah, I used to be on this side of the camera. I am not used to be on this side of the camera. I don't know about Christian because I, I don't know him. And so I don't know how devoted you are. I don't know if you're you know, going to give it a month or so and you're like, I give up, I don't care. I think, oh, it might be Christian. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> he came in the deli pouring in sweat. <laughs> as far as this nonsense that one of my kids is dumb enough to back somebody else, it's based on, you get this, it's based off of sweat. On this particular point, she, I don't know, she's just not, not thinking. You, know, you got it working? Uh, okay. Yeah, so that's going to be 175 plus 21, so I'm 196. Is that what you expected? Yeah, about that. Either 196 or 195. And that but you can move. <laughs> My dad is probably going to be the one that wins. I mean, I can't say that I know for Christian, but my dad takes this stuff seriously. <laughs> Shane, though, is very determined. He's definitely got he, the drive. <laughs> oh, my dad, and I know he's doing pretty good. I've been in a weight loss competition with Shane before, so I know the way that he works, and he he will work hard to get it. Uh, it's 250. Um, That's just how much I know myself. Okay, start over. Clinton, Clinton, verification, please. All right, this is happening because he's got a big mouth. He's going down. He was dumb enough to say yes. Uh, my dad. Uh, he's stubborn enough to. I've seen him in these things. You don't want to mess with him. Like he's serious. As far as the challenge goes, as much as like I said, I would like to root for Quentin. He has not so good of a reputation when it comes to weight loss challenges. So I'm probably going to go with my dad. Um, just because anytime we've done anything, I don't think he's ever lost one. Sorry, Christian. 
<laughs> Headless little whale skin. Something big enough to weigh your whale ass. I mean, Quentin, I mean, he has got a lot. He lose whatever, and I'm sure you're determined, but I just, I feel like dad's got it in the back. He's, I've seen him in these things. I don't really question him anymore. The final answer, 356. You're fine with leaving it stand where you're going down. Dude, I got complete confidence. Good luck to you two losers, because I got this. I won't let America down. You don't have to worry about it. I will defeat these youngsters. The prize will be good. The prize will be a gun. Um, punishment won't be bad. Shaving head, that will last long. So if you guys like this video, please be sure to subscribe, like, comment below, or share this video with your family and friends.